You actually registered something? Yeah, I had to, man. Four months with no good plates. <laughs> Don't put that in there. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's, going in, <laughs> it's going in the video. Our friend Steve is here and he has brought to show us this uh, of all the insane shit to make a model of my Junker 58 uh, what is that a Savoy Savoy hardtop uh, rendered in painstaking detail spent way more time than I did on the actual car Steve you built a few models in your time Steve also did a beautiful model of my 53 uh, custom line this is like spooky how detailed this is and we do have a thing called the waste of time olympics and this is gold medal stuff like <laughs> even put the something. desoto door and the bent up molding that's falling off and the uh see even the ragged interior it's hard to believe how much that looks like the real thing i mean that air cleaner is actually sitting on the seat that's crazy. And the red rag and wow. cover that I threw on there. Yeah, and the rotted out fender. Oh, you even put the hood pin holes. Yeah. Oh, crazy. And the taped up headlight. And the red lower valence pan. So you started with the Christine kit? Yes. And, uh,. And sanded all the side moldings off. Which was the biggest pain in the butt, was sanding off all that side trim. Right, yeah. Hours. But you left it for the door. That's because right. Because that's where the DeSoto moldings are. Yeah. It's pretty much the exact same car. You think about it. Yeah. Wow. And the damage on the fin there and the old rattle can black paint job from 1965 is still on there. That's crazy. Pop the hood, Steve. Let's have a look, buddy. There's the uh, flathead six-cylinder engine, complete with a uh, pop bottle gasoline system and even the, even the vice grips on the battery, like, you are a madman. Busted windshield, just absolutely nuts. And uh, one of my favorite parts of this car, both the model and the real car, is the the horky uh, splice job on the back where I put the back of the 57 Dodge into it. I even went and drilled out all the little tiny holes <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. went to go and get rid of all the spot welds. Dean pointed out that you sanded the bumper wings off because yeah. it's not a bumper wing car. Man, it's spooky like how good this is. Look at the caved in rocker panel and everything. It's just just like the real car. I was going to restore the car, but now I can't. <laughs> it would be to dishonor the quality of this model. Oh yeah, there's even a dent in the hood. And how would you get this shitty green color? Like Spending more time than I'd like to admit mixing greens. Wow. And all the gouges in the fender. You obviously have honed your technique for making rusty cars. That looks really good. It even has the little... Uh, Finley's Chevrolet dealership sticker on the back, which is pretty mental. And uh, yeah, the dented up bumper, perfect. And the blue sheet metal, pretty crazy. Yeah, it really does look that bad. I mean, that is very, very, very accurate. Well, thanks so much, buddy. I uh, really, I just love it. I think that's really cool. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. That gets our gold medal for this week. <laughs> I won. That's crazy, yeah. It's uh, slightly more effort than the real thing, so uh, really cool. And well, let's get one more shot of the inside with the rags and the ripped up seats and the old air cleaner. Just crazy. Yeah, it kind of reminds me how poor that car is, actually. <laughs>
I guess this is the obligatory before shot of the 1960 Fury uh, driver's side. The bottom is gone completely, and this really and this is a very interesting uh, molded piece here. But it's also very interestingly broken. That's going to be difficult to fix. I don't know. This is all very bad. I've taken the wood off, and this is what we're left with. So, I don't know. I've got some uh, leftover MDF here. Kind of traced out the original shape. Looks like, I don't know, a few inches off the bottom are just completely gone. Well, we'll find out. So we're going to try and stretch this over top of our new panel and try and glue it all down. I'm not even going to try to clean it. So I think that's a little, uh, at this point, like, no, we'll clean it once it's, once we got it glued down, we'll do a nice job, but I got to try and, there's no point in cleaning this all up if I can't get it to, uh, to actually go over top of a new piece of wood, so. Uh, and so, it's just really, I don't know, I don't know how well this is going to glue down or anything. It's pretty poor. Yes, I've been putting this off. Yeah. This is where I'm at. I might as well do these, headliner, and a, a certain amount of sewing involved, I think. I'll have to pick something here. I'm thinking maybe some white. Just to give it that tiny bit of custom kind of feel. Because it'll have the dark blue carpet. Just kind of take this and just put it, uh, put a stripe of it down here. Or maybe the seat insert. Uh, I like that. Maybe we'll put a little bit of the seat insert down there. That would tie the room together. Okay, we've got our piece uh, cut out and laid this uh, old panel on here. And let's see how bad it is. This corner relatively undamaged. That'll be the datum. This back window was leaking, so this was all just just waterlogged and rotten. Bottom, well, there you can see that's how much of the bottom was gone here. The overall length is almost there. It's really just this this corner's in pretty tough shape. Probably be able to get that back around there. So that's a bunch of the work there. This I don't know. I mean, I just don't know how well it's going to straighten out. It's going back in, as we said. I'd rather have the original pieces in, in in the end, even if it's not quite as nice as doing it as new ones. I just some of this. So uh, I don't know, we're gonna have to do a, as Al would say, an, an eminence front. Uh, that's where we'll, we'll get going, I guess. Well, I've put a few staples on the back. Not permanent, but just that's kind of located now. That was in good shape. And the whole job seems to be just pulling this way. Let's see, by the time we get to here. We're, uh, so, I'm going to just start heating this area trying to move this whole thing down and and then we'll start pulling back here I really don't know but it's all obviously gone like this yeah I think I'm gonna glue this down and then fix this it just occurred to me that if I wasn't gonna do that that I'm kind of now it's too late and that's what I'm doing so we'll think of some bullshit way to fake that in there and I'm just gonna try it just see if I can get that then we'll heat it here and try and pull that. And then we might try and get that. This is all so brittle. Well, this is attempt number two. Attempt number one was just a little too far forward, so I had to take it all off again. So I'm still kind of slowly, it has shrunk so much. So I'm just kind of going around, heating up little areas and pulling them down, pulling them back. 
So I started with it fixed here. I'm just trying to push the whole thing this way. And actually this needs to come forward and get pulled over the front. Believe it or not, that's much improved. This kind of came back to life pretty close. I also get lucky that there's a big molding that sits along here and will really help flat that all out. I might be able to pull that little wrinkle out of it. We'll do some of that if we uh, if we get that lucky. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be great, but um, it'll be fine. It'll be clean and it won't be all falling apart and moldy. It'll be original to the car, but it's still... You're lucky you're cute. All right, let's see how it goes. I like to smell fish. That's nice, eh? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty fine, too, eh? It's uh, really nice. Yeah. Because yeah. the, stuff... the stuff that I always had, like, it was it was kind of stringy, yeah, you know? Yeah. Well, I, Dylan got me on this stuff. It's, well, we'll see how it goes. What, no, no sandy? What the fuck? Oh, you got a mask oh, off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll get it all Hurry covered. Up before that shit. fucking shit goes hard on it. Here, I'll hold this for you. Okay. How many guys does it take to fix a fucking arm? Fucking rest, three of us, yeah. Three guys. Go on the other guys. side, too. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, there you go. I do want a piece of sandpaper. Why didn't you oh, think of that first? That's good enough, fuck it. Oh, so it actually has something to bite too? Well, that's, that's bit, yeah. nothing gonna bite there. Huh? Fucking critic here, look out. There we go. What you need oh, is yeah, fucking 40 go. grit. There, that's better. What a fucking butcher, eh? Huh? So just a high density foam core. Yeah, this is a leftover from Collins Airplane. Yeah. It's a bit one of those kid planes. Fuck, you won't even have to sand this by the time you get done. Well, you guys sure change your tune from butcher to don't even have to sand it now. <laughs> he's a fucking expert with this. <laughs> yeah, now he's an expert. <laughs> Give her that, there's a little crack there. Oh, I'll be putting a little more. Oh, you're going to do, do this? I'll do a coat of white oh, okay. on it. Yeah. Okay. You're not quite at the right angle here compared to this, are you? Okay, it's uh, Friday night, and I should be inside editing, but I really want to finish this door uh, panel repair since we started it, and not much fun to watch it half finished. So what I've done, I uh, finished my little bodywork repair there, so it looks pretty good. And then I went over to Dan's and borrowed some of this rattle can texture finish, whatever this is. He'd done a great job on a on a console for his dart. So I figured, well, let's just try this little piece here. I just kind of blended it out. Got some white paint here left over from the roof of the Fury. So I thought, well, let's just very quickly see if we can... Uh, you know, just to see how it turns out. I've never used this stuff before. The texture, that is. I've used paint before. So you can see that lighter gray on top is uh, an adhesion promoter to help paint stick to plastic bumpers. So it should help it stick to plastic interior parts as well. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to cover this with just paint and no primer, but I'm kind of a lazy bastard. So a quick light coat on. And a little bit here. Huh. It's actually a fairly reasonable facsimile. Um, I will uh, let this flash, maybe 10 minutes, and we'll come in and put one heavy one on. And then uh, that should do it and uh, allow me to save this otherwise not very usable part. Give her a few minutes to dry, flash off here. I'm just going to hammer it and see what happens. One nice wet one now. Not 
that's pretty much it. So that uh, actually pretty presentable, I guess. Uh, it'll obviously dull off a little bit as it dries. And uh, should we peel it while it's still wet? Yes. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't. We're just going to hope that it stays together. There, the color is not even bad. This will be a little brighter once I clean it up. And I don't know how much of this I'm going to get out. Uh, again, we're not really trying to make it perfect just so it's not garbage. I'm trying to save as much of the original car as I can. Even if it's just the roof and a few pieces of the inside. All right. Well, I'll let that dry till tomorrow. We'll dump the rest out of the gun. Okay, uh, Jim just uh, texted me, asked me if the camera battery was charged, so that usually means something interesting. So I'm just kind of waiting for him here. Uh, been banging on the uh, rover today, uh, mostly getting started on the passenger side rocker, and I'm just starting to fit them up. Once those are all fitted and looking decent, I'll uh, blow it all apart and get it ready for actual assembly. Right now everything is just held on with one or two screws each just to make sure it's all going to fit. I'm just mocking up all the end here and then I'm going to start cutting and hammering that into shape there. Since I'm here, I'll update on the rust repair which is now finished on this side. And that uh, all looks very nice. And that marks the end of that job. You know, here and that guy. I think we may have touched on that last week. Okay, Jim just full and said he's here, so let's have a look. Oh, here he comes. What's going on? It's the Jeep. How's it going, buddy? Oh, pretty good. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah, yeah. We came to see if this thing still had a good home here. Oh, you bet. Okay. I think it'll be good here. You'll be vehicle wealthy here. Oh, yeah. Well, I, yeah. I do need a car or two. Yeah. That's well, exciting. I don't have any other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, great. I suppose you need a ride home then. Uh, no. Just wait. <laughs> wait and see. Oh, this is only half of the fun this or what? Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, I'm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe we should sit inside where it's warm then. Oh no, you won't have to wait long. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're not just dumping it here because it's on fire or anything. No, no, actually. Oh. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's. Uh, it was parked because it's running too well, and I'm just, <laughs> I'm getting rid of it while it's good. Yeah. Yeah, right on. Instead of uh, yeah being a heap here. That's exciting. I mean, I can just I can put a tag on it. Oh yeah, yeah. You I can just start drive. driving it. Yeah, yeah. fucking. Works good. That's you like the best. Some new nuances that I never really uh, dealt with. But yeah, no, I yeah, ended up love it. finding something that's even better. So. No. So is this something for winter that you're buying, or? Uh, sort of. Something that I'll probably use as much as this. So is yeah, it? This coming on a tow truck or a flat big, deck or what? Oh, it's a big mystery. It's all <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Oh, here we go. What's? Let's see here. Uh, Oh, that's awesome. This is a very gym car. Yeah, registered, plated in my name already. Hi, Lindsay. Why, hello. Look at this. Oh. Hi, Lucy Dog. Hey. It's very excited. You went and picked it up. Yeah, yeah, I went and picked it up. I could have drove it back. I should have, really. It's that good. It's phenomenal. You'll have to take it for a drive around the block. Yeah, uh, that's great. Yeah, look at the dash. Oh, yeah. wow. That's amazing. Flat head eight? Yeah. It's like a, a cold weather, seldom used errand car. So <laughs> you gotta have a car for every. Slushy. 
Yeah, right. And, uh, just for small errands. An errand car, yeah. Yeah, right? Got a little trunk for errands. Sure. And sold by the nicest man who yeah. enclosed a, uh, a three-page manual on how to care for the car. Yeah. Oh, that's great, yeah. Oh, it's so cool. You're right. What a great errand car. <laughs> yeah, in this weather, it's not going to kill it. It's not an original paint car. It's a four-door. No, it's you exactly can... Exactly what I was looking it's for. It's exactly what you said you wanted for a beater. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Does this count as your new winter beater then? Hey, I think so, yeah. I guess you get two a... entries. Yeah, yeah, I'm wow. sending that one. Wow, yeah. that means that I win, because that's still, well, this might be we'll the best. See. Middle middle of the line, so not, yeah. not yeah. the top, you know, but it's certainly better than the uh, main line. That's so. That was the cheap one, yeah. yeah. Well, let me get some mitts. Yeah, if you want, while it's warm, we can go around Yeah, the okay, line. great, let's do that. Yeah. Okay, we're good? Oh, yeah. Oh, it has signal lights. Yeah, yeah, no, it's got all the creature comforts. And a creature. And a creature, and a creature yeah. <laughs> hey, All the comforts. Dog. Yeah, it's quite. So this was Alberta plated already. Yeah. So I had, I don't want to over rev. I, it's so nice. Yeah. It's like you buying this car in 1965 yeah, or so. It's sure. just a Oop. good, honest Door used car. It. Oh yeah. Oh, what a treat. Right. Uh, so I got to fix the speedometer. That's uh, one of the deficiencies. Okay. So. But. Uh, you know. We're at home. We got lots of heat. Oh yeah. Oh, this is going to be fun, man. Right? It's so comfortable. Like, it's minus 16 centigrade. Yeah, Look at yeah. how comfortable we are in here. You could shed a layer. Yeah, I know. I, uh, yeah. Wow, well, shift's good. Is that how many miles are on it? Yeah, 106,000 miles. Really? Yeah. Has the engine been redone? Ah, uh, I think so. It has yeah. extremely good oil pressure, so. Yeah. It does really steer well. Oh, it drives fantastic. Transmission's good, yeah. What a great daily. <laughs> You'll probably use this all the time. Oh, in the summer? It's, yeah. It could be just be a... You could just use it for whatever, right? A year-round car. Yeah, it's really quite nice. Correct a few rattles and little deficiencies, but... Yeah. Right? So instead of sinking all my time into that Jeep now, I'm... Uh, <laughs> well, you got to put rockers here. on something. Yeah, right? And this one already had one rocker put on it, so... It's halfway there. It was kind of the smart choice, really. For a man right. with as many projects as me. <laughs> that's right, something that's got one rocker already done. Yeah, a bit of a lateral shift. It's like trading up from a paper clip, I'll end up with a car with both rockers done. <laughs> Whoop! Well, that's that V8 torque. That's right, you gotta watch out. Well, you must like it, you're even taking the extended test drive. Oh yeah, we'll do the extra half a loop here. <laughs> We've always maintained that really any post-war car you can still use every day. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't think you'd have any trouble driving this thing every day. So what's on the block? You said the, maybe the 64? Oh yeah, the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think that might you get moved along. Lindsay, you gonna miss having a convertible or what? I think the dog's gonna miss having the convertible. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. she puked in it as a puppy, but uh, she's really come around <laughs> to oh, it now. Yeah. now, yeah. Temp gauge sits there nice. Yeah, everything. Like. Yeah. Well, you're right. Lots of oil pressure to idle. Oh man, yeah. Usually these flatheads, like all my other ones, are kind of, they're kind of yeah, in the red. tapping the needle. Yeah, to see. yeah, yeah. Same with the razor. And then you got that. On. Oh, it pushes you right back in your seat. It's got that flathead sound. That too, yeah. <laughs> wow, it's a lot faster than the Renault. Right. Things are. So, you know, why not? Sure. Well, the world's going so crazy, why not be driving a nice set? Well, I'm at that point. <laughs> now, so if the world wants to have a crazy contest with me, yeah. let's, let's go. Let's pull yeah. out the big guns I'll here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've stopped cutting my hair. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that'll be nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <free>. Hey! <laughs> Hey, see. What a good girl. Yeah, she yeah, seems to enjoy it, so that's good. Everybody's yeah. everybody's a fan of it. Well, this is how these things were meant to be. Yeah, used, this is. Right? And it's got the the heater here yeah, down here, go. all your controls. Oh yeah. Yeah, so those are nice. Wipers there. Lights, wipers. There. Look at this. There. Never had a cigarette butt in it. Oh. Unused ashtray. Yeah. Oh, and then this is. So it's got a little emblem here, which is sweet. Yeah. And it came with. 53 was the 50 year anniversary for your information. Wow. As well as, uh, can your car stop safely? Uh, 
had a check in Saskatchewan in uh, yeah, October 83. Then 83, <laughs> it was all good. Somebody checked it over in 83. So and when okay. was this in 56? It's funny, 83 it was only 30 years old, and that was almost 40 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> like look oh, at cool. look at that check there. Hey, it's got all safety sorts of the safety car. lane. Yeah. Know well, how to use the heater? Magic See, this, air this system. This delightful little fellow here. He's just as warm as us. Yeah. And yeah, Ford Comfort, convenience, and safety. So yeah, like what a nice, just original car. Yeah. And then this is some. This is the quality accessories that you could have gotten for it. Canada only. Where the heck did I? Uh, that. It says printed in Canada on Canadian paper. Wow. Yeah, right? Oh, okay. It has Monarch. Yeah, Meteor. Monarch, Meteor. Yeah. Yeah, it's all the Canadian Ford literature. Wow. Yeah. What a treat. Well, you're the perfect owner for this. Yeah, I'd like, like to. I, I think so, yeah. Would buy this and drive it every day. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't get your hopes up that you'll get it just like that yeah, wagon ear when I get tired of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sorry, you can just drop off the continent. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to get out. Here, oh, right? yeah. I want to just go keep driving around. Yeah. yeah. Like it's getting hot in here. Yeah, it's kind of nice. It's a little it's warm, yeah. Dial it that back what? a bit. Ford's uh, the 50th, 50th anniversary yeah, was everywhere right. that year, yeah. 03 to 53. Yeah, they were special cars. That's 53, a watershed year, last of the flatties. Look yeah. at that, eh? She's barely even here running, so smooth. It's definitely original. That's cool, it's how been worn, used. Yeah, look yeah. at the wear. Just wore every right day, through. Yeah. yeah. Somebody wore right through it. But that handle is a bit awkward. Oh, yeah, it's kind of in a it's weird a spot. Awkward, yeah. So, yeah. All these guys are still intact. Oh, all, all this little little delicate trim, little trim. Yeah. 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 If this you shut beautiful. it off, you just touch the key and it fires right yeah. up. Yeah. So, plans? What are the plans? Just clean it up? And yeah, just do the, fix now. the horn ring, get the speedometer working, just all the small uh, things. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, then beyond that, we'll see what the winter brings. That's so yeah, no, they're still out there, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, but how many people really buy old cars like this just to literally just to use them and drive them? Like, oh yeah, nobody. There's, yeah, no, this us. thing it, it fell into a nice niche market of nobody wants these. Yeah, yeah. Like nobody like, wants nobody a four wants doors. Nobody car. wants fifty threes, fifty fours. No. Nope. Like yeah. Yeah, and you can buy, and I think people forget this all the time. Is that you're way better off buying an undes a nice example of an undesirable car. Yeah, and this cost and like maybe maybe four times what you'd pay for like a field car. And yeah, yeah. like look at this, yeah. you got heat, you're driving it, you've got plates on it. Like yeah, yeah. yeah, I just committed. I said, well, you know what? I'm just gonna throw this guy an offer. And he said, yeah. So I just drove down there one day, left at 6 a.m., got back 7 p.m. And Okay, that was this weekend. Yeah, yeah, on Saturday. Big super great. day, and then I thought, oh man, I gotta surprise Scott. Well, thank you. I yeah. mean, what a treat. Can we open the hood? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just a nice, clean no flathead. Heat, no the guy's done a tune up on it, and uh, so it's got new hoses, and just all the stuff that you do have been, has yeah. been done. So, but that exhaust leak, I'll have to get after the exhaust leak. Where's that? Uh, on the Up right here. side, I believe. Okay. I think I'll just perform the. Because in the maintenance guide, it's got like crazy amounts of maintenance that you should do to them, like every yeah. thousand miles. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if I keep on that, I think it'll be a. Uh, last forever. Yeah, it'll last indefinitely. Yeah. There's even a battery hold down. Everything's so good about this car. Yeah. yeah it drives it's not, nice. It's, it's just, not some piece of crap. Yeah, man. everything else I want is junk compared to this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till I paid you for the Jeep before you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, everything's just poor. Like the bumpers are poor enough that I'm not gonna worry about oh, yeah. them. But they're straight and decent. Yeah. And oh, this is great. Old metallic Look green that. paint. And yeah, protected. Yeah. Yeah, you're By safe. the theft protection service. By the hound. Yeah, right. <laughs> and that dog right in there. there yeah. yeah. You get a Let's load see. of this. This is another selling feature. Oh yeah, go ahead and try the wipers out. I was like, okay. Oh wow, oh, wow. they really hammer too. Yeah, right. Like that's just. Oh, they're There's just like new. An electric motor there. Yeah, unbelievable. They park, yeah. Kind of uneventful. That's what you want. Yeah, right? Yeah. Bye, Lucy. Good seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys stay warm. I'll see you tomorrow. Catch you later. Good stuff.
Wow. What's the name of this segment, buddy? Uh, you know what, Matt? What is the name of this segment? You know? What really is? It, I don't isn't know. it uh Mail? Is it know. like just mail? Or can we do something different like I don't know. stuff that comes in from the guy with the truck that drops things off? Yeah, it's like mail from the viewers. It's like it's Viewer great. mail? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody has ever done wow, that. Oh look at this. It's Take from, us into it, Dean. It's from W. Reschenbacher. And he's in Nova, Ontario. Cold War Motors. Cool. All right, let's have it. November 28th, 2020. It took a while to get here. But great Cold War Motor episodes. Keep up the good work, please. Please find and close my contribution to My Classic Darts. Although it's what? not really a dart, I'm sure you guys can have some fun and enjoyment with it. I bought a couple of these at a 7-Eleven on the beach in Florida on New Year's Eve in 99-2000. I've been saving them for the right occasion, so please have at it. Well, that's, that's very so kind, Will. Look at that. Crazy. A stogie for the classic dart set. Well, we'll put it on the dart set and see. Okay, well, he probably... Thanks, yeah. Will. That's very kind, buddy. Oh. A birthday present from Dean to me. Like a late birthday gift. It's a few months late, but still, it is awesome. My buddy Rob came by and gave me this car and for a good deal. Anyways, and that plate was on there, but I told him it's kind of it's for Scott anyways. He's like, oh, yeah, of course. That's very kind. I do not. It's the only one I have. I've never seen the fade. Yeah. The, the meteor the fade bumper was, awesome. well, the yeah, meteor bumper cool. was bent, so. It's bare it's, metal here and still painted it's there. So Here's sick. the original color. Oh, dope, yeah. That is great. Now, oh, you're, yeah. ha now you're happy with me for one night. <laughs> <laughs> From Brian Leclerc. Leclerc. Oh, he's in QC, uh, Quebec. He put a 59 Chevy stamp on it. Oh yeah. yeah. He probably just wanted this, you know, that's cool. I love when people rent notes. This is good. This is December 17th, last year, 2020. Mm -hmm. Hello, Scott. Love the show. Keep up the great work. The only segment that I could do without is when you guys light up the disgusting old darts. I never smoked, but had <laughs> to endure the years of secondhand Mori from the old man who would smoke us all up in the car with their windows rolled up because he also enjoyed, loved his air conditioning on full blast in the car. Enclosed is the October issue of the VAQ Club magazine that features a beautiful 1960 Fury convertible. The magazine is in French, but I'm sure you will appreciate the photography. Best regards, Brian Leclerc. Back. Cool. Thank you so much, Brian. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. The auto oh. ancien. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, neat, eh? We don't have this here in Alberta. No. We don't. Oh, no, wow, that's terrific. Nothing like this around these parts. Lovely. Ooh, oh, nice. I always oh, liked Skyliners. Oh, I'd have a Skyliner. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, here we are. Oh, sweet. Oh, oh. Whoa. There's a Plymouth. Convertible. That's yeah, gorgeous. right? We don't like that kind of thing, do we? Thanks, well, man. I am happy. We'll keep that around. Yeah. For sure. We'll put that oh. in the library. Oh, More mail. I think this is for you, Dean. Oh, it's really from Vanessa Miles. Here. Winnipeg, Manitoba. They had some storms out there recently. <laughs> now we're doing the weather. Low of minus 16 or something. Just look at it, would you? Oh, my God. It's getting so cool. Oh, look at Oh, Chrysler from the Dodge DeSoto. Well, what a fantastic yeah. piece that is. What year do you think it's from? I think I have one like this. 1954, yeah. Oh, good eye, buddy. Wow, that is a beautiful I, piece. Who called it, eh? <laughs> Just... Well, Vanessa forwarded this from a friend who uh, is, in fact, the person who donated it. So oh, gotcha, gotcha. That is fantastic. Thank you so much. We wow. will keep that with the rest of the library here. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. Did really? I give you two fifty fives? Yeah. Oh yeah, you flipped them. Flip down. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> yeah. I don't flip anything. Oh man. As you can see by looking outside, that is cool. I have never seen one come in a, its own little uh, folder like that. Yeah. Really cool. 1954 Dodge. It's pretty special. Wanted to share this with everybody. Uh, this is uh, my friend Mark sent me that of the DS parked at his cabin, as was the plan. And that mm. was very kind of Mark to print that off and, and send it to me. Thank you very much, Captain, for, uh, you know, 
stewardship is an important part of this entire process and uh, we think that it uh, I wanted to recognize that so thanks man what a great picture too that's just how that guy does things quality stuff that's cool Beautiful we'll shot. leave that right there God, that car's that's gorgeous. going up yeah. From Peter C. to Beck. All right, to us. Let's open her up, buddy. Frankers enjoys the packaging. Yes, she does. Hey, you like ripping up the boxes? Five hours later. Wow, the BMW is such a... Well, this isn't is that a interesting? Bizarre. I saw a bunch on Kijiji today, like in Ontario. There's like This guy had like eight or nine bodies sitting there. Hmm. Is and Kijiji, Ontario? And it's uh, January 15th or... What is it, the 15th today? Oh, look at that. I did not know about those this series yeah is that a 300 mm -hmm. well if the Renault 5 ever seems to be too posh this is one thing you could do wow it has a single wheel on the back that's harsh <laughs> that's crazy man I love this car it's bizarre to, not that. as bizarre as you'd expect well I guess it would depend where you're coming from it's hard to believe that that would uh, actually be viable but Apparently they are. They're probably not too bad. That's really cool. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much, man. We'll definitely hold on to that for the library. Mm -hmm. From Bill Gaylord. Bill Gaylord. Scott. Where's Bill at? No, yeah, he's in Grove City, Pennsylvania. All right. I got to hand it to him because this is very nicely packaged. Nice, eh? Better than I could do. Do 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 do. As Dean tries to carefully. Do 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 do. Elevator music time. Insert now. They take the paper seriously over there. Remember the office? That was in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Oh my jeez, yes. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Isn't that great? <laughs> that is a fantastic old issue oh. of pickups and vans. Sweet. Wow. 450. What jeez. year do you think that's from? 73 or something? No, it's newer than that. Look at those true spokes. Maybe 1980 or so. Yeah, maybe 79. Oh, 79. Still round headlights, right? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. This truck's... Whoa. <laughs> wow. Ideas. That was a factory paint job, I think. Really? It was like the street van paint job or something. So cool. There's another Whoa. panel job. That's cool. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, There's a van? street van oh, with yeah. the slotted... I think Kyle has these on the on the death dealer now he's got these street van emblems too oh sweet eh mini oh, haulers oh, from across the pond look there's the ford courier and the chevy love huh? truck remember that that was an what isuzu. is the chevy oh it was an isuzu i think it was an isuzu and this or mazda yeah was that yeah you're right i think there's a toyota and there's the datsun i remember datsun, those toyota. <laughs> oh, you guys, you're going to oh, be uh, Ashley's doing the interior on the one we painted here. Oh. So when you guys see that, oh, I think God. you're going to like it. Oh, holy, this stuff's mind blower, eh? Look at the mural. Oh, like this, eh? just, this guy oh, knows what he's doing. This is a proper mural. He's smiling job. and laughing at it. He's just like, <laughs> yeah. It's a Peterson publication. Wow, look at the grill oh, on that Ford. So sweet. I think it's Robert a little Peterson, harsh. Robert Peterson's not with us anymore. The Gladiator. I wonder oh. if that's still around. That's sweet. I don't think Look at A hey, with the little wheel, the chain oh, wheel, and the TV. That's awesome. We do have a couple uh, issues of this, so this will be, Good. it'll really round out the, the Boogie Van reference mm -hmm. library. Yes. Thank you so much. That's gorgeous. That is great. Yeah, man. I know that we've shown a number of things from my friend Elton at Retro Old School, uh, but this is one, one more of a number of amazing things that he's put aside for me, which is an original road test of the SM and some contemporaries. Looks like a Fiat Dino, uh, probably a 250 or 280 and a 9 of 14. Oh well, I guess we could just read it. Oh. Some sweet looking motors there. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you, Elton. This is stuff that is very hard to come across now and Elton was so kind as to uh, to save the entire article and mail it to me. Great dashboards see, from which the one's, time. Which one's the Fiat? That's got to be it there. Oh. And all the wood. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Great photography back in the day too. Really, really cool to see. I don't know if I like SMs in red so much though. <laughs> yeah. Is, is it red? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's so red. I love it. Yeah, it's yeah really neat, eh? You don't see that, man. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm going to be putting that in the library as well. Helton also sent this one along for our friend Jim, and uh, that is really cool to see. That is Jim's exact model of car, 1941 coupe. Look at these guys, <laughs> Dean. Wow. There's an icon, the double mm. pinner. The Firestone Town and Country, right? Guys smoking a pipe. That was awesome. Man, I'm like sure a, like a nice set of those. Of the uh oh, 70 Chevy going in the water there. <laughs> this looks like trouble. Yeah, it is too. That's just cool. cool. Kelly Celebrity. Kelly? Wow. Oh. Celebrity. What an interesting name oh. for a tire. <laughs> Kelly Springfields. That's cool. That's got to be late 50s, early 60s, eh? Yeah, look at that. Like it's like a Dodge or something. Look at these good years. Oh, oh look buddy. at that. Heavy wow. duty. <laughs> look at that gripper. Yeah, eh? in French it's too. Like, this That's is really oh, wow. great. Oh, amazing. For autos and for trucks. Look at this one. You can actually, you can replace pieces of the tread a little bit. He's like, oh, I got a nail. So I just put a new really? piece on. Really? You can put a new piece of tread there? Are you serious? What? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> Winter ride. Look at it's a here's what tractor action traction. Tractor action traction. Wow, That's awesome. some tractor. U.S. Action. Royal snows. But there's really no car. Cool. It's just a tire in the. It's just a tire that's <laughs> making its way. Yeah. <laughs> here, that's the best. move those that guys. That's the best. We gotta just keep her moving here. Oh, I know you don't like these geez. kind of cars, Dean. Wow, is that a '60 Dodge? Is that an American Dodge? Yes. The 60 Dodge, a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bit of an odd duck. It's an odd one. For it's sure. an acquired taste. Yeah. A Nash. What year has that got skirts on it? It's gorgeous. Yeah, I think it's 39 or 40, isn't it? Life Magazine, February 39. Was it 39 now? Yeah. Who's on the cover? Blonde Norma Shearer. Hmm. Maybe she wasn't blonde before and that was big news. <laughs> this is great. What a beautiful car, 1939 let, Nash. Look at, don't let others spoil your fun. That's rules to live by. <laughs> That's rules to live by. Everybody Listen. pay attention. Don't let others spoil your fun. Look this looks there. familiar. <gasps> what? Just did one of those, Ashley has one of these, and we did an earlier one for him, which I did a little road test of and lost it. So we'll have to refilm that <laughs> when I buy a better camera next year. How to select a good family car. Well, what you make sure it's a Plymouth. I oh, guess, you bought a Plymouth. I guess that, oh, that, look oh, at there we go. What's See? that guy there? It's all one thing. Oh, it's a Plymouth. Okay. It's a 1950. <laughs> oh, it's There's a 50 There's one Plymouth? sitting at the bottom oh. of the stairs. Good. Yeah. Isn't this that is all nice? a factory original, though. I thought this one's it. not a rusted out ruin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's new. Look at the yeah. wide whites yeah. on the Plymouth yet. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Sporting. Yeah, that's yeah. really nice. Yeah. Oh, it's basically telling you to buy a Plymouth then, that's fine. Basically, it looks suspiciously like an yeah. advertisement for Plymouth. It's great because it says how to select a good family car. It's Plymouth, right. it's right there. There you go. How to select a family car that will go out of style Ooh. a little more quickly. Oh, hey, don't we have this one oh. as well? That's look a beauty. forward to carefree summer driving. This is a summer ad. Oh, look at, they didn't even mention the new for 56 tail fins. Like oh, look at, a double whammy Citroen on one page. Big changes on the new Citroen. Well, this must be late 60s then. Let's see what's on the other side. The oh, Toyota. Ooh. Wow. Isn't that a beauty? It's a nice looking car. Toyota Corona. Yeah, yeah. that's late 60s, isn't it? Yeah. There we are, April 68. So this nice. would be, that's wow. the facelift. That's the facelift of, okay. the, uh, of the DS that year. <clears throat> the year after they went away yeah. from the Porsche 911 style headlights. That's really interesting. I just like the colors. And on the back, classic tires. Wow. BF Goodrich. Look at yeah. Pick the BFG that's right for your driving. You know, <laughs> which BFG is right for that's flippy it. junk? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's look, this one here the on premium, the left. Yeah, the left. There you go. Guaranteed for 27 miles. Now, which one's better? Which one's a oh, better no. tire? This is the cheapo. There you go. That's, that's a, the Diener. Are you sure this there. is the cheap? Yeah. Well, it's see. guaranteed for 12 months, not 27. <laughs> oh, we got a little bit of a motorcycle pile here. Whoa. Oh, that's a sweetheart. Yeah, Yamaha. a little Yamaha. 
This but is look, all the kind of around 1970. Look but he's that. got a 63 Chevy Impala or something in the background, eh? There's yeah, a right. Chevy. And there's a 61, a 3, and a 7. <laughs> and a new yeah, look, right. a new look bus there. Yeah. Another one there. French ad for Honda CX500. Oh, that's cool. Man, that's great. Look, white but dishes. White dishes. <laughs> Company's coming. <laughs> White dishes, yeah. There, this oh, one's this one's for Dan. He oh. has the maxi wagon, the big monster Dodge wagon. We have a road test coming next. Really? Next break of sanity. Look What's at, this? Oh. Instant Simon eyes. Whistle up your DeSoto quick. So a sedan. Look at it. it's like a four door poster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. You're red. You gotta be out there. Oh. Just, hey. Ooh, wow. Oh, that's, that's a pretty, beauty. Pretty car. Actually, I'm starting to really appreciate 62s more now. Oh, I know. Of the 234, at least they were the ones that were like really out there. Electro something. What's this? Oh my god, a photocopier. What? No. Yeah, it makes photocopies. There's a photocopier back Don't then? Don't you have one of those? No, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's great. Oh, she's stranded with her kid. Oh, yeah, it's terrible. Oh. Terrible situation. But look, it's not even a white wall. It's like... I know, there's a problem. <laughs> This tire looks low on air too, like, you know, she yeah. should have pumped it up. <laughs> Probably wouldn't run that ad this year, eh? In 2021? <laughs> Chick with a gun to her head? Uh, <laughs> Probably not. Probably not, no. eh? Everybody just stay home and quit your jobs. <laughs> yeah, it just... <laughs> Don't surrender. Buy old Monaco and live in it. Yeah. Dean will fix you up. Yeah, that's right. Grandpa oh. refused to budge until... Ooh. Plymouth. Plymouth. Pillow ride. Where oh, did... yeah, look at that. It's oh. like me. Look, the old fellow, he's like done well in business and manking. Hey, if he's driving a Plymouth, he might not have done that great. Well, look at those tires. They're, gr this is awesome. Next to talking politics, Grandpa oh. likes comfort. Did you buy Grandpa an Imperial Crown here? Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> it's cool. No, it's just a Plymouth four door. Yeah, the little artistic license, eh? It looks like mm -hmm. there's a big band playing in the back there. Isn't that a sweetheart? Look at the color on that yellow four with a gray top. Yeah, I don't, they did not offer that. No? Yellow? Yeah. Not that. Well, maybe. Somebody mm -hmm. tell us. Was that ever? A, yeah, that I've was never like seen taxi one. cab yellow. <laughs> yeah, I just, maybe it was, yeah. On duty. Yeah. This is a very on nice. On duty also. Very, <laughs> very minimalist. Where do you go? Oh, Tide. Tide. New and improved? Man, you'd think that after 50 years of fixing that shit that they would've got it right, eh? They wear the cleanest clothes in town. Like, who doesn't though, you know? <laughs> yeah, Ralph, his clothes aren't really that clean oh, these that's days. that's cool, eh? Isn't that... Things that people don't say about me and Dean. Jeez, their clothes look like they belong to a homeless <laughs> on the street. <laughs> Dean admits to stealing his clothes from dead people. That's, I did actually, yeah. That was a low point. <laughs> just makes me feel like a total bum. But I am, I guess. So <laughs> really? Whatever. Not doing laundry yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, not today. Not twin i beam. First of the twin i beams. So, uh, how, okay, so how did it work? Let's check it out. Mm, Oop, okay. Pivots there and pivots there. So that pivots for this side and that side. So it gives you independent suspension wow. while maintaining the incredibly tough uh, i beam. Pretty, uh, it was this a pretty is big deal. Ford is... ran that for what? Oh, five years? 30 years? Really? 25 no. years? Really? Sure. Somebody can tell me otherwise, but I'm pretty sure twin I-beam right up through the 90s. Oh. Yeah. That was a very iconic bit of engineering. So you still have a kingpin. Oops. Yeah. You still have a kingpin here. And uh, there's no no ball joints up here, but they're, they're tie rods. You would have figured that there would have been a certain amount of nervousness introducing that. So they had to make a big deal of it. And I think... I mean, they wouldn't have made it for 30 years if it was shit. Uh, I think it's, you know, for a truck, when you consider what this replaced, this was pretty, pretty sweet. Um, still not a race car, but nevertheless. Uh, yeah, interesting and a kind of a, an important development for Ford. And one of the best bikes of the oh. 70s, the What's Z1000, that? which is, is the it? evolution of the Z1 which was 900 cc, so they enlarged it to 1000 cc a couple years later. What year is this guy? This would be mid-70s, or 1978. That's so a cool that's bike, though. one of the later though. iterations of that, but that started in 1972, one, two, three, as the Z1, and became the Z1000. 
And I think somebody can correct me, but derivatives of this were the bikes on uh, on chips. I think they were big cowies. There's yeah. I think people thought they were Harleys, but in fact they were big Kawasaki's. That's it for mailbag, buddy. That's it for tonight. Thanks, guys. Thanks we for will. coming out. Yeah, thanks for yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome, man. Anytime. I, Always uh, a treat. Thanks yeah, to everybody who sent stuff. If we didn't get to yours this week, uh, it'll be coming up. We we are going to try and do this a little more often because yeah, I just awesome. can't believe the, the generosity of people to send us this stuff. So sometimes we have more than we can fit in one uh, in one show. So I'm just going to try and uh, get through them all uh, uh, over the next few months here. But I hope you guys like watching it like we like uh, enjoy opening it because it's pretty fun. Yeah, and uh, it's great. always fun to surprise, right? Yeah, it's awesome. So... Uh, cool beans, thanks. Right on, man. Hey guys, I just noticed as I was editing this week's video that uh, we've just clicked over the 50,000 subscribers mark, so I want to say uh, thank you very much to everybody who, uh, who subscribed to the to the, uh, the the show, I guess, whatever this is, uh, it's very kind. Um, we've been at it a long time, and uh, I, I try not to make a big deal about asking people to subscribe to the channel because it doesn't really make. I mean, I guess it makes a difference, but I don't know. YouTube seems to unsubscribe uh, one person for every three that subscribe, so. Uh, I could ask if everybody would double check that they're still subscribed if they think that they are. And to, uh, you know, uh, hit the little thing that so you'll get the notifications. Of course, we basically put up a video every Saturday afternoon. So if you already know that, great. I also uh, really want to take this opportunity to thank the patrons of this channel who have kept it alive. Uh, without them, this channel would not exist. There is nowhere near enough revenue generated um, that, that it would uh, make it possible to put the amount of time into these, uh, these productions such as they are. Uh, I do try to make something that I would watch. That was the original idea and so I'm, uh, I'm, I still stand by that that I try not to put out any, any video that I wouldn't actually sit down and watch. So uh, I do genuinely appreciate all the people who have been so kind as to say that they they do get something out of it, and uh, so thank you guys, and thank you especially to uh, all the people whose names appeared in the credits at the end of this. Uh, without you guys, there is no show. It would disappear. It would have to. There's just no way. Um, I do try to make the show a something a little different, and I try to make it 100% actually original content, so I've been asked many times. Uh, I actually do write and play and record all the music for the show, and I try to keep it, uh, you know, keep it having a 100% homemade kind of vibe, for better or worse. I think that I uh, also try to do something that is not ever going to be on Discovery Channel, both with the subject matter and the presentation. I'm going to stick by my original uh, vision of making a show that I would actually watch. So. Uh, anyway, thank you guys to anybody who subscribed, and thank you especially to the people who uh, open their wallets to keep it on the air, because it's those people I'm thinking of when I stay up all night uh, editing these videos, like I'm about to do tonight. And I uh, thought I would do this little segment right in front of this car, because this has been made possible um, by the generosity of the people who have allowed me to keep the lights on while I work on this car. Um, without that, and there's no money in this car, but there's uh, a certain number of hours in it that just would not have been available uh, had I been stuck doing scratch and dent stuff. So I know, uh, and I, I hope I've uh, made that clear to the, to the patrons themselves, but I think uh, about once a year or so, I wanna uh, thank them in the, in the regular video here. We'll see everybody very soon. I do fully intend to have this car on the road this year, in case anybody's wondering. I'm, uh, this and the Rover are the primary uh, focus of, the, of our time right now. 
So, uh, very happy with it so far. Just uh, most of the trim for the other side is banged out. It just has to be put on, just, and uh, and I just have to finish sewing the interior. I've run into a semi-serious snag in that I cannot seem to find the, I, a second roll of that blue vinyl anywhere in town. So I'm going to be shopping either out of town or getting some custom dyed. I bought the last of that roll thinking that the next roll that came in to replace it would be the same color and it was not even close. They are both light blue but that's as much as you could say. Anyhow, that's a lot of rambling and I will leave you guys uh, to the rest of the show or next week's show or whatever. A regular Ash, same old shit. Well, it sure seems like you're helping, Fraggers. Are you going to help me get that balance done there, Francie? Are you helping by just sitting in the way? Season means production.